Hello, friends. Welcome to Level Up with Debbie Neal. I am your host. There is nowhere I would rather be than right here, right now with you. This podcast is all about leveling up in all aspects of our lives. Thank you for being here. I am so grateful. I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Together, we are leveling up. You ready? Are you a network marketing professional? Are you looking to get crystal clear on your goals and what you have to do to achieve them? If the answer is yes, keep listening. My friends over at 90 Day Habits created a journal specifically for network marketers. It is the exact blueprint they use to reach the top 1% in their network marketing company. This 90 Day Habits journal will help you stay intentional, organized, and build habits to keep you on track toward your business goals. I use this journal. I love the creators of this journal. I love the energy around it. And I love the results it brings to my daily organization. Leaders make quick decisions. Then they make the right decision. Make the decision to commit to your business today with the 90 Day Habits Journal available at 90day90dayhabits.co, 90dayhabits.co, and use Level Up 15, all capital, for 15% off your order. Hello, my Level Up family. So as most of you know, I record my podcasts weeks in advance. So the one that you're listening to today, which is, I believe, July 30th, 31st, I recorded the 4th of July weekend. So you're clearly not listening to it on the same time, but I am going to talk today about declaring your independence. So the good thing is it's still July. Okay. So it was very appropriate at the time that I'm recording now, but truthfully, it's relevant no matter when you are listening. So now you know why I'm referring to the Declaration of Independence. Okay. Even though it's well after the holiday. So the real meaning of the 4th of July is celebrating our great nation. If you live in the United States of America, and the Declaration of Independence that was created to live in one nation under God. Like, I love that sentence, in one nation under God. And this was a message, Pete, you're going to see I've added well onto it, but the original message I heard from my church. So I go to church. When I am in Palm Beach, I go in person. And when I'm in New Jersey, at my home in Jersey, I watch it live stream. So on a totally different note, if you're looking for an amazing church, I'd love to invite you to listen. You can go to Christ Fellowship Palm Beach Gardens, and then you could join Watch Online. And another amazing selling point is that John Maxwell is a member of my church and also speaks very, very often as a pastor there. So one more reason he is my favorite leadership coach. So the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776 by our founding fathers. So what is a declaration? A declaration calls into existence, it's calling something into existence that's not yet. It hasn't happened. It means it hasn't happened. It's a declaration. It isn't a fact. It's a vision backed with a no matter what absolutely happening mindset. It's written in power. No question, no wavering, complete faith. What declarations will you make over your life today? Because your words have power. What are you declaring over your life, over your success, over your future? Because it is time to level up. Our words have absolute power. What are you declaring over your life, your success, and your future? So hypothetically, I'm asking you, are you declaring health, abundance, joy, love, success, wealth, prosperity. Because remember, a declaration is a powerful statement and state of mind. And it's from this point on focused, like I'm declaring from this point on. And most people speak of their current reality. They speak of their fears. They speak of what they don't want. Remember these two are declarations. When we speak about our fears, when we speak about what we don't want, right? Those are kind of declarations. In order to create something different, it starts with a declaration. So I'm going to go over four declarations that 
that, that we must make. I believe we must make. Okay. One is make a declaration today to release your past. Your past is a point of reference, but it's not a residence. And I'm not who my past says I am. I am who God says I am. God makes all things new. Stop speaking of what didn't work. Stop speaking about who quit. Stop speaking about who rejected you. Stop speaking about what other people say and their opinions. Stop speaking about the goal that you set and didn't achieve. Stop speaking about the steps you took backward. Stop speaking about people who hurt you. Your past is a point of reference. We learn from it. We grow from it. The longer we live there, the longer we speak about it, that is what makes it become a residence, right? Because now we've, we've set up shop. We've made this our home. If you speak of it, you're living there. If you're learning from it, you are moving on. Okay. Number two, make a declaration of independence from fear. Fear keeps you from stepping out. Fear keeps us from, from what God has for us. Faith over faith and fear cannot coexist. So Jesus calms the storm. And that comes from Matthew 8, 23 through 27 and Mark 4, 35 through 4, 41. The main point God takes away our fear through faith that he gives us. Faith and fear cannot occupy the same space. Your mind and heart are either fear filled with faith or fear, but we have the ability to choose. And our natural state of mind goes to fear. God's gift of faith pushes out the fear. When it comes to fear and faith and God, I want you to think of these thoughts, right? Faith says God is in control. Fear says, you know what? I'm not sure if God is strong enough to handle this. That, I mean, that's not what we're saying out loud, but we we are if we're not standing in faith. Faith says nothing is more powerful than God. Fear says I'm not sure if I can trust God in this circumstance. We are all going to have thoughts of fear. That's natural. We're going to have thoughts of insecurity. We're going to have thoughts of doubt. Faith pushes through. God pushes us through. When it comes to success, action pushes us through. Fear holds us back. Faith moves us. It allows you to take the steps. I believe there is a calling on your life. I believe God has the most amazing success story waiting for you. However, if you do not have faith, you're saying boldly, that you don't trust. When we don't take action, we are saying through our actions that we don't have faith. In order for God to do his part, we must do our part. And I just heard, I just did a podcast with Amber Lee Lago. So that was the episode that actually came out before this. And she gave a great analogy. She said, you could be standing there with a shovel. You could pray to God to, to dig a hole, but you're standing there with a shovel dig the hole, right? Again, it's taking action. Jesus rewards faith, bold action, courage. He rewards declarations. A declaration is made in faith. It's okay to feel fear. Do it anyway. That's how you're building your courage. That is how fear is replaced by faith. When the founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence, I'm sure they were scared, but they signed it Anyway, they stepped out in faith. Think of your favorite entrepreneur. They wouldn't be anywhere without trusted partners. If your commerce platform is scaring away potential customers, instead of converting them into lifelong fans, you have to try Shopify. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you've created a digital product or you're selling custom merch on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. And 
once you've reached your audience, Shopify has the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. So my son, Ryan, was reselling sneakers for years. His business grew once he used Shopify to sell his products. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify is truly a global force powering Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs over 170 countries. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash level up, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash level up to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash level up. Number three, declare your independence over your future. God has incredible moments waiting for you and your family in your future, but you must believe that. You must know that. You must have faith in that. Take action knowing and believing that. You have the power to declare your independence because you know what right now is? It's go time. We have August, September, October, November, December. It's time to take your ability and dreams and declare independence over your future. Because watch and see how many amazing leaders, how many entrepreneurs will be born in the next five months. What is your vehicle to create your independence? For me, pursuing something that scared me gave me the wings to fly. And this is what I was declaring over my future. Independence of relying on anyone to provide for me. Again, it's It's just about becoming independent, independence of choice, having choices, being able to choose what I wanted my days to look like, my future to look like, how I was going to spend my time, what I was going to do for a living, independence over ever having a boss again. You know, I look, there's a lot of people that have incredible jobs with bosses. It's It's just not for me. I don't want a boss, but I had to declare independence over my future in order to create that for myself. Independence of scarcity thinking, right? To replace it with abundant thinking, giving away my power, independence to take my life back, to live on my terms with time and choices, building the mindset, growing my leadership, taking ownership. If the devil can steal your hope, he can steal your heart. And when we face challenging situations, our enemy wants us to believe that there is no good future. There is an amazing future for everyone. But remember, if God is for me, who can stand against me? Too many of us are giving the devil too much to work with. Stop declaring negativity over your life. Begin to speak the word of God over your life. My business is blessed. My family is blessed. My health is blessed. My finances are blessed. My relationship is blessed. I'm made in the image of my creator. And last, number four, is the declaration of dependence. Make the declaration to remain fully dependent on God. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't take responsibility. You don't take ownership. It means relying on Jesus, focusing on him, love God above all else. It means that we trust him. We took him. We look to him for wisdom. Dependent on God doesn't mean he's responsible for our future, responsible for our success, responsible for our ability to level up. We're responsible. We take action. We commit to excellence. We are the ones that need to have the courage to be bold. With that, take responsibility for our future. Be bold and know that Jesus has the wheel. That should give you the faith and the courage to step out and build the life and the future that you so desperately deserve. The Lord gives us faith to grow through hard times. So what declaration do you need to make today? Serve someone today. Pray with someone today. Help someone jump in and swim to the other side. Help someone become the best version of themselves. Give somebody else vision and belief. Trust God more. Trust him with your future. The only way to experiment true freedom is to be in the right relationship with Jesus. 
here's the thing. When I look at my journey, like, are you ready to declare your life, declare your success? Because I look at mine, I declared it. It's time to declare. When are you leading yourself and your business to the top? Help as many people as you can serve, make a difference in the lives of others. Leadership is serving others. The more people you help, watch and see your life change. Keep going. Earn everything you could possibly earn. Pack your calendar. Share your heart. Get in front of as many people as you can and share your story. Create urgency. Have really big conversations. It is time to light the fireworks off in your business and in your life. On this day of independence, this is what I want you to answer. Today I'm free from you fill in the blank. What is it free from? Limiting beliefs? Thoughts that are not serving you? Your fears? Your past? Today I'm free from. And you fill out the blank. You know, my friends, take a snapshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram. You could find me at Debbie.neil, Debbie Neal on Instagram. I should even know my own handle. But like, share with me, what are you free from? You fill in the blank. Love you, friends.